Yo, what's going on, good people? It's Gardner Douglas, your Oyster Ninja. Um, I'm here with a special announcement. You can eat oysters in the month of R. Ta da! The myth has gone on long enough. Um, you can definitely eat oysters if the month does not have an R in it. So, July, August, what's the other months? June, May, um, yeah, all the summer months. You can eat oysters if the month does not have an R in it. Um, a lot of, so, all right, let's start from the beginning. In the beginning, no, just joking. But, so in the old days, um, you know, they said you couldn't eat oysters in the, in the month that it doesn't have an R in it because the oysters um, were bad or something. But basically what was going on is there was no refrigeration, so it was hard to transport oysters. Uh, it was hard to keep the oysters good. But now we have refrigeration. Um, now we have farmed oysters, which don't spawn. So that was the other reason. Um, the oysters during the summer months spawn. So when the temperatures warm up, the water uh, temperature rise, the oysters are signaled to spawn, to reproduce. Um, so that makes the oysters uh, basically lose all that fat, you know, burn off all that fat. And it's just basically like a translucent shell, not shell, translucent body almost. Um, and it's not really tasty, but farmed oysters don't reproduce. Um, they, all they do is eat all year round. So you can eat them all year round. Um, so that's the other thing. Um, and I made, I recently made a post. So I hope you're following me on social media. If you're not, um, it's S dot S dot shuck. And I'm looking at a post right now. It says, let's talk about the R month. Uh, do you eat oysters in the month? It doesn't have an R month. And then I put pro tip, eat oysters 365 days a year. The R month was created before refrigerated trucks and farmed oysters, like I just told you. Um, so Shucker Patty got on. Uh, he said, <laughs> he said, calendar change up, May R. <laughs> he put R in the middle of June, July, August. Um, there are R is in every month everyday oyster and um it, it was just a real real cool thread um let's see somebody said i felt more comfortable with eating them more than ever thank you for shedding light so that's cool i mean that's what we do like it's just part of like oyster education and just knowing um you know about oysters uh somebody actually said a fact about they put a year to it. Um, here's another comment. The R months. I like talking to folks about this as a way to educate about seasonality and the history of oysters. And yes, eat them year round. Raw, grilled, fried, all delicious. Um, here's, a, here's a comment from Island Bay Oysters. I always tell people the only R's you need to worry about are the ones in refrigeration and regulation. That's a good one too. Uh, uh oh, so Daphne Sam, she's a uh, she's a masseuse, massage therapist up in Baltimore. Nope, I'll keep my Southern superstition. So again, um, it's a Southern, you know, it's a Southern thing. It's because in the South, the, you know, the water temperature of the oysters. Um, here we go. She shuck shell in the city. That's a uh, gin up in Baltimore, Maryland. DNR recently reported. We had the best harvest year in 35 years. Keep those farms working hard by local shuck local. So that's pretty cool. And somebody said something. Who's this? Ruby S U B I Ruby Subai. I've heard this about sardines as well. So I didn't know that about sardines. Have y'all heard that about sardines? I didn't know. Um, so, yeah, in Portugal, apparently the old wives tale. Never heard that. Um, I'm looking for this post. Somebody said something. They gave out like, um, let's see here. I can't find it, but uh, just go to that post, check it out, or even here. 
leave a comment. Have you ever heard about the Aura Month? What do you think? Is it superstitious? Do you still go by it? Let us know. Um, subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like this video. Share this video with somebody else. Peace, all right? Cheers.